me switch it up for you. Let me switch it up on you. Considering um, uh, Spence comes out of this thing healthy, healthy enough, him and Crawford, who would you favor, favor in a fight between Spence and Crawford? Again, assuming the health. Know. Crawford's a, a, a big welterweight. And uh, I'm sorry, Spence is a big welterweight. Mm -hmm. And Crawford's a small welterweight. And that could matter. They're both terrific fighters. I want to see the fight. Uh, maybe, I, I, I don't know. You know? I'd like to see the fight. I sure would, it's, too. It's important for everybody to get behind the idea of getting that fight made. I, I agree. I think you could probably do something to make that fight happen. What do you think? Your, your, voice, your voice would be big enough. No, <laughs> no, no, my voice is meaningless. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Larry, uh, if I could get you to you turn the subject a little. Looking forward, looking forward to the next big battle on the calendar as far as just the zone fights go, um, who do you favor going into the Andrew Ruiz and Anthony Joshua rematch? I would favor Ruiz. Uh, but acknowledging that Joshua has had six months to, to sit and stew to, on it, right? To, to you know, to rearm, and uh, because I think he got shot, not not just because he did probably never heard of Ruiz a month before the fight. He was a late substitute. He was plainly out of shape, even for Chubby, a guy who yeah. normally fights out of shape. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'll be curious to see it, and uh, I wouldn't be shocked if Joshua won, but uh, Ruiz is a hard kind of guy to beat.